Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Today I wanted to do just kind of a chit chat video while I am doing my hair. Uh, I washed my hair today and I never like how it is when I wash it, it's all like wavy and weird and it wasn't cooperating today so I put it up in like a little thing to kind of just embrace the weirdness that it's doing but I think I'm going to straighten it a little bit to kind of fix these wavy bits and I just thought it would be fun to hang out. This is like running out and sometimes it like sprays really weird but it seems to be okay. Oh no it's being weird again. It's like sort of misty, kind of weird. I'm running out of a lot of like hair products and makeup products right now. Do you guys ever experience that where it's like everything is just going out? I guess it would help if I turned this on. I thought I did. Um, but everything is just running out at once. I need a new mascara and eyeliner and I need foundation and powder and hair products and it's like oh my god I'm not ready to spend like a hundred dollars on all this random stuff but it's all good. It's been a few months. Everything lasts me like a few months so it's not too bad. Um, I think it would actually be kind of fun to go to like Ulta or Walmart or wherever I go to buy my makeup and like vlog it like stocking up on all the girly things but I'm kind of scared to like vlog in public but I think it would be fun to uh, try anyways at one point let me know if you guys would like that yeah other than that I am just kind of trying to get back into doing just random stuff on YouTube uh, because I don't know I feel like back in the day I'm like using my phone as my mirror and it's not working that well but it's all good. Um, back in the day on my YouTube channel I would literally just do whatever I wanted whenever I felt like it and didn't really overthink it and I feel like nowadays I'm very like weird like it's kind of like something like this video I'd be like but nobody wants to watch me chit chatting while I'm doing my hair but it's like you know what younger Brooke wouldn't care so we're just gonna roll with it. Um, and it's a great time to chit chat because I have the time, you know, I'm just standing here, may as well make it interesting. Um, this is mostly my hair extensions too, by the way, like all of the majority of this is hair extensions. So yeah, um, but I think I need to kind of clip up part of it. I don't really know what I'm doing. Most of the time when I'm doing my hair, I have no idea what I'm doing. So it's whatever. There's a few things I wanted to talk about on here, just kind of like life updates, I guess. Um, currently, this is going to be a look, okay? This is just going to be a look. Stay. Currently, my husband and I are doing DoorDash as like our work right now. Um, if you tune into my Twitch streams, which not many of you do, but a couple of you maybe will know. Um, but my last Twitch stream, I was kind of just talking about how Derek and I are in job search mode and we were going to go work at Amazon, like at a warehouse, Amazon warehouse kind of thing. And someone was saying on my Twitch chat that they do uh, DoorDash and like Uber Eats and stuff on the side and that it's pretty good like side income. So we decided, you know what, let's try DoorDash and see how we feel about it and we've been doing it for like two weeks and so far we really like it uh, It's a lot of fun because we get to like work together He drives and I kind of do like the navigating and I do most of the running into the store to get the food and like dropping it off at the house So we're able to do it pretty efficiently, which is nice and we make about close to a hundred dollars a day for like maybe four or five hours so it's pretty good and it's nice because we're on our own schedule we can just do whatever we want whenever we want to and uh yeah so that's really good uh the only issue is we're doing it in our truck which is a toyota tacoma and the gas is very expensive so we're debating on getting a car but basically that's what we're up to recently and uh it's good so far, but we're debating getting like more normal jobs because like I said, the gas is expensive. We're debating if we do want to get a car, but I don't know. That's kind of where we're at right now. It's just kind of side income because we have a lot of things that we're doing, like running an Etsy shop and I have a fansly and I get a little bit of money from YouTube and brand collabs. So there's like a few things that are kind of working out for us and DoorDash is sort of enough, but kind of also not. So 
right. Okay. I think that that's good. I think that that's a little bit better. It was just kind of some weird little wavy spots, but now I'm liking that vibe a little bit more. Let's go and sit somewhere else together. All right. So now we are chilling on the floor. This is like my favorite little area to film in this corner. I actually really want to get like a chair. I don't know what kind. Also, sorry about that light that's like reflecting right there. I'll just kind of scoot over. Um, but I really want to get a chair for this corner and like move this box uh, out of the way and just have a little gothic like throne type chair here so I can have like a little YouTube corner but also like a little reading nook uh, but they're kind of expensive I was looking online there's like a few on Amazon and they're like $200 ish so I don't know if I'll be able to buy that anytime soon but I feel like that would be really really nice I'm trying to think of like other things oh yeah also I need to dye my hair again soon basically my hair is like really faded right now. I don't know if you guys can see my roots are grown in really far and this is kind of turning like I don't even know what color. There's like a blonde color coming through and I've just been kind of embracing it and letting it fade but I actually am going to be collabing with Iro Iro again which is the hair dye that I used when I had like the green streaks in front. It was like green and purple and then like even this black hair extension stuff. Um, I reached out to them to see if they wanted to collab again and they do. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a YouTube video once I get those in the mail of me dyeing my or bleaching my roots because I don't like having roots. And then I'm going to be doing a black and purple and plum color combo thing. I was inspired by uh, Evelina Forcell, I believe is her name, and she did a Monster High hair tutorial thing. So I'm going to do something kind of like that, but it's going to be like black streaks and purple and plum streaks. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm really, really excited. So stay tuned for that coming to the channel. And also I'm going to be collabing with Killstar again. Uh, they emailed me saying that they love my content from last time and want to collab again. So I am just so excited and so happy. And I just can't believe how crazy of a year 2023 has been in terms of like really taking my social media seriously and going somewhere with the whole influencer stuff. So I'm really excited for 2024. I can't believe that it's November now and it's going to be the new year before we know it. And I'm trying to kind of get my stuff together before the new year hits. Like a lot of people wait until January 1st to start trying to change stuff and do their goals, but I'm trying to kind of get back into good habits now and try to make the best of everything. Um, I've kind of fallen out of a lot of my habits and stuff. My morning routines used to be very like, you know, kind of like strict where I would like meditate and stretch and read and like affirmations and all that kind of stuff. And I've kind of been lazy with it recently. Like I, I try to do it here and there, but I'm trying to really get on myself again to be more consistent with that because I definitely think I was doing a lot better with a lot of my stuff a few months ago and now I feel like I've been kind of in a lazy rut kind of era so and also I want to get to streaming on Twitch some more. I streamed again pretty recently like a week or so ago and it was really really fun and then since my husband and I started uh, door dashing recently I feel like I've been really busy and not really knowing what my schedule is or when I have time to do things but I'm really excited I was actually going through um, I have a lot of my twitch VODs that I downloaded but I haven't posted yet on my World of Warcraft channel because I've been posting a lot of my gaming stuff on a separate channel and I'm kind of trying to work on uploading them I think I'm like three by behind. I gotta upload two that were like those transmog mount event things where like you guys can come play with me. I have to upload that one and then there was another one where I was leveling my night elf on hardcore so I'm kind of behind on like posting some stuff on my wow channel and uh, sometimes I don't know what I want to do with them because they're like two or three hour long twitch VODs and I feel bad just posting them as a VOD because it's like who wants to watch like a two or three hour video so I debate on like editing them down into like actual videos but that's such a hard process to edit down three hours so I'm just kind of gonna post them as they are they're really just there for like me and my own memories and for you guys to watch them if anyone's curious and I have had some people request posting full VODs so I guess that some people enjoy just like listening to them and stuff, but uh, once I kind of get on to uh, being caught up with my VODs and everything, I'm going to start doing 
lore videos on my channel, which is what I originally wanted to do with my World of Warcraft channel, but again, I've just been busy. Um, I did the World of Warcraft beginner's guide for noobs. I think it was like nine episodes where I really went into depth for helping new players get into playing WoW, how to download it, what add-ons to get, how to run around, and all that stuff. Um, and then my plan was to make lore videos for noobs so that new players can start to understand World of Warcraft lore and Azeroth and characters and all that stuff. And I've just been busy ever since, and I am going to start doing that hopefully soon. Um, I started taking notes for like my first video, which will be about the origins of Azeroth, and then we'll get into the Titans and the cosmology and the Void and the Light and all that stuff. And I'm just going to kind of use the... Uh, World of Warcraft Chronicle books that are over on my shelf here as like a reference uh, for what order I'm going to make the videos in. So I'm kind of kind of going to do it in like chronological order in terms of like pre-Azeroth, like 10,000 years before and just kind of working my way up to present day and going through all the characters. So that's the plan. And then I also have to do my World of Warcraft cooking videos. I got the World of Warcraft cookbook and... Um, that's another one I keep meaning to get around to it, but it's just kind of really hard because a lot of the recipes are so like specific with specific ingredients that I don't have. And uh, so I've kind of been putting it off, but I'm getting ready to start doing them soon and I'll probably upload the cooking videos to this channel instead of my World of Warcraft channel because the World of Warcraft channel that I have is really just for like my actual gameplay stuff um but everything else that's kind of just like me kind of like right now talking about world of warcraft stuff or doing world of warcraft stuff that's not me like physically gaming if that makes sense will go here so it's a little bit confusing same with like my reaction to blizzcon stuff i decided to upload that here so it's a little bit of a blend because it's hard because me and world of warcraft are so like connected, you know, like, so it's hard to know where the line is of separating the content. I think that that's everything. I don't really think that this video had a purpose, but it felt really good to kind of just talk about whatever, just whatever is flowing into my mind. Um, we got to go to the post office soon. We have two boxes to drop off. Our Etsy shop has been doing pretty good. Our rock and mineral shop that my husband and I are running. We've been getting a lot of sales recently, so that feels really good. And mostly the sales of are of our thunder eggs that we dig from our mining claims. So those have been selling a lot opposed to like the other random stuff that we have, like jewelry supplies and crystals and all that. So it's nice to know the stuff that we actually hand dug out of the ground is what is our best seller right now. We've pretty much consistently been selling like at least one or two small boxes usually a day we have like a listing for small boxes of thunder eggs and that's been like our best seller so that's been really really fun and going pretty well so we're gonna go to the post office gotta eat some food I think I'm gonna make some cilantro lime rice although I don't know if I have a lime left so maybe I'll just make plain rice for lunch today I think it's like 3 p.m. so we're probably gonna want to head out to DoorDash today by like 4 or 4.30, so I gotta go pretty soon. Hope that you guys enjoy this. I probably, today is Monday, I probably won't be able to upload this today since I gotta go soon, but I'll get it up whenever I can. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if it was random, it's kind of just, for me, I guess, just trying to get in touch with doing my thing, whatever I want to do. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and check my description for all of my other links like Discord and TikTok and Twitch and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day. Bye!